Hi, today we're going to test the Genera 7500T. This is a low-cost, portable, battery-powered LED light, and what we're going to do today is see whether or not it's worth your money. So, let's have a look. So, let's have a closer look at the light. We should start with the build quality, and as you can expect from such an inexpensive light, it is almost completely made out of plastic. Now, it doesn't feel extremely solid, although we have to say that no part was broken externally during our use, more on this later. On the front we have 320 LED lights, half of which are white and half yellow. This is a bicolor LED light after all. It comes with a semi-transparent diffuser, which is this thing over here, which helps diffuse the light and you attach it like this. Now you can probably add an additional layer of DIY diffuser if you like. We don't really like this uh, attachment with the small uh, plastic hands. It doesn't feel very, very secure, but it basically does the job. Now let's turn it over and on the back is where most of the action, if you like, happens. It, including these two switches, this is the on-off switch. And as you can hear, when you turn this on, it has this click, so you will know that uh, you basically turned it on, and it's also a dimmer. This is 100%. Now, we actually prefer where the dimmer and the on-off switch are separated. I think that this is a better design, although a lot of manufacturers are using a combined on-off and a dimmer in the same bottom like here. Now the advantage again is that you do hear the click when it turns on. Uh, we will show you in a future video a much more expensive LED light which doesn't have this feature and it's a bit annoying. But again we would much rather have a separate button. Let's say that this was the bottom uh, that uh, will turn the light on and then you can basically change the light to the power level that you like and turn it off and then turn it on again and you're at the same power level. In this uh, sort of configuration you always need to turn it on and get to more or less the same place that you were before. So it's annoying but it's probably less expensive and this is why and complicated and this is why uh, the manufacturer decided to go with this and again it's it's very common. Now the second switch is the color uh, temperature switch and it moves again in small clicks you don't hear them but you can actually feel them when you turn it from 2800 Kelvin all the way which is yellow all the way up to 6500 Kelvin which is cool cool white uh, and this is what you get in terms of the color change now, here you have the battery compartment or where you basically need to place the battery. This is the battery. It's an NPF 750, pretty large battery. Uh, it's 4,600 mAh, 7.4 volts. And something that we discovered is that you need to be very, very careful how you place it. So basically, now it's on, let's turn it off. Uh, if you place it uh, not very uh, securely, basically just, let's say that, just do something like this, uh, it's not very well held by this compartment. Uh, we would much rather have something which is closed from more, more or less all directions and maybe you put it downwards or basically a different mechanism because you need to be very careful to secure it very firmly so it won't budge or disattach when you accidentally move the light. Now, if you want to disattach the battery, you need to press this blue button and then it turns, uh, you can turn it, uh, take it out. So this is how it works. You can attach smaller batteries, but uh, this, it's nice that this uh, type of battery comes with the light because these uh, type of batteries are quite inexpensive. So this is nice. Two other things that we want to mention. On the bottom you have a quarter inch 20 and a cold shoe and you have another cold shoe on the top. I'm not sure what you can do with this, but uh, it's there nonetheless. Here you have grills for dissipating heat and this is basically everything that you have in terms of the design and the build quality of the Generate 7500T.
One last thing that we forgot to mention is that the Generate 7500T also comes with this power brick. And if you don't want to use the battery or you want to use the light for a long period of time, you can detach the battery and connect this to the light itself. And then it comes with an American plug, but we adapted it to a European one. You can plug this into the wall and use it for a long period of time. We use the Generate 7500T extensively over the past several months, mostly for videos here on LensVid. It is a very, very powerful light for its size and weight, and at about 3 feet, or about 1 meter, you officially get 1500 locks, which is a lot of power. Let me show you. This is what you get at 2800 Kelvin. Obviously at 6500 Kelvin, which is what you see now, uh, it's far less powerful, about probably about half. Uh, now we found the fact that uh, it can be powered using both AC and a simple NP style battery, very useful, uh, as you can uh, take it basically anywhere and place it almost in any location uh, and uh, use it as a compact, powerful light just ready to go. The only downside that uh, has to do with this light is uh, for the most part the build quality and maybe some quality control issues. After using the light for several months we discovered that at least some, uh, some of the time a series of uh, five uh, yellow lights, LED lights, stopped functioning. This isn't a huge problem when you still have about 350 other LED lights uh, working but uh, we also noticed some occasional flickering. This might also be due to the battery or some contact issues internally inside this uh, LED light. We also ran into these issues more after using the LED for a long period of time. So let's conclude our experience with the Gina Ray 7500T. Despite some of the issues that we've mentioned, which might be just our unit or some quality control glitches due to the inexpensive nature of the unit, we still think that for around $180, the Generate 7500T is a pretty good deal. It's very flexible in how you can use it, it light, it's light and very powerful and you can change the color and use it almost anywhere with an inexpensive battery. For pro users who need a compact, lightweight and pretty strong portable light, the Generate 7500T can be a decent inexpensive backup unit, but it can also serve as a second or third light in a kit when uh, you want to save some money, as long as you keep in mind all the issues that we have mentioned. So this was our look at the advantages and disadvantages of the Generate 7500T. As always, you can read the full review on lensway.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you on the next video.